Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Lockett in the Czech Republic, round 13 of the FIM Motocross World Championship. Up next, we have the WMX race, uh, round three of their championship. They've got two more to go after this one, uh, one in Italy, in Imola in a few weeks' time, and then the Turkish round, the final round for the 2019 FIM Women's Motocross World Championship. My name's Paul Malin. Alongside me for this particular broadcast today will be uh, Yanina Yen Yenina Lehman. Uh, she's a WMX rider, uh, normally rides for Suzuki in Germany, but uh, you'll probably see if you follow her on uh, Instagram and, and social media that she broke a femur recently. Um, so uh, before we go anywhere, uh, Yanina, welcome to our broadcast here. And uh, how is the injury? How are you feeling now? Um, yeah, today it's seven weeks ago since I broke my femur, but the recovery is going really well. Um, the doctor was really happy with my x-rays and yeah, now I just need to wait. <laughs> well, look, here we are at Lockett, fantastic circuit. Uh, looks like there's a little bit more dirt on there than previous years. It's obviously well watered, just under 1600 meters long. Uh, is this a track you've ridden before? And if so, is it one that you enjoyed? I've been here in 2014, 15 and 17. I really like the track. I like hard pack tracks. And for me, this is uh, one of the easiest uh, tracks of the woman calendar, and I really enjoy to ride it every time I'm here. It's such a cool atmosphere. So, yeah, I'm really, yeah, sad that I can't be on the gate now. But thanks for the invitation here. No problem. Obviously, uh, you had a good result in Portugal last time out, 13th overall. Um, you know, you're starting to find your feet in WMX this year, and then this happens. But uh, let's take a look at the championship standings as we come into round three here. Uh, Courtney Duncan leads Nancy van der Ven by four points. Larissa Papamaj, three points further back, so seven points separate the top three girls. Then we have Amandine Verstappen. She, of course, won the first round in Valkenswaard. She is, uh, what, another 15 points further back. And then uh, Lynn Volk, Shana van der Vlis, Lena Dam, Nikki van Wardragen, and Sarah Anderson with Anne Borchers, uh, the top ten. And um, that's how they look coming into this one. If I was to ask you now, Yanina, uh, who is your money on? My money is on the 151 on Courtney Duncan. She looked really strong today in the time practice, and she was almost two seconds faster than everyone else. And yeah, I think she will get a job done today. Obviously, yeah, the start is going to be key. Yeah, it's not a difficult. It's not an easy start here, is it? 180 degrees uphill, first ha left-hand corner. Um, but I was talking to a couple of the girls today and they're saying actually after the, the gate, the start is actually quite heavy. They've ripped it quite heavy. Yeah, they rip it quite heavy every time. I think at every GP, but I think we will see some good start from the outside because I remember I did a really good start from the outside a few years ago too. And the start will be key, I think, for the track, which is quite tight. Well, in free practice, Larissa Papamaya was fastest at 150.8. But in time practice, Courtney Duncan, 151, uh, appropriate, 151. Uh, point two, and she was 1.9 seconds quicker than Larissa Papamaya on the Yamaha. Amandine Verstappen was next, uh, about eight tenths further back than Nancy van der Ven. She had a, a big crash through the waves out of uh, turn one in free practice. There's Courtney Duncan, uh, your championship leader, the bike at DRT Kawasaki rider. Uh, had a bit of a nightmare getting here this weekend. More on that probably in tomorrow's uh, broadcast. But uh, there's Nancy van der Ven of the Netherlands. Uh, and, of course, uh, we've got Larissa Papemeyer as well, who's second in the championship. Uh, uh, sorry, third in the championship. But um, would you say this kind of uh, circuit, uh, Janina, would favor someone like Courtney Duncan, who's maybe more of an all-rounder, or someone like Larissa, obviously riding on German tracks, they're more hard pack. And uh, what about... Nancy van der Ven, where do you think she um, will fit into this one? Yeah, I for sure hope that Larissa Papma is doing a good job, my German mate, but uh, I think the all-round talent Duncan will get the job done, and if Nancy grabs a good start, we can also see some really good racing from her, so I think, yeah, the race is open. I'm, I'm really excited to see who doing it. Okay, well, the fly race in 15 second forward is about to go up. It does go up right on cue. Uh, WMX race one, 20 minutes plus two laps round three of the FIM WMX World Championship is about to get underway here in Czech Republic. Lock it. Who will it be that grabs that all important hole shot here? Hold the gate for a long time. Duncan over on the right hand side, but uh, Nancy van der Ven just puts a squeeze on her coming into the turn. And then the 121, just around the outside, I think that was, Elisa Galvano. And we've got five girls there just parked at the first corner. 
But oh, it yeah. is Galvano that leads the way. And then we've got Van der Ven in second. Duncan on the Kawasaki in third. Doubles away into that third corner at the top of the hill. The 172 just behind the Lynn Volk. We'll get the, uh, the leaders as they come over the line this time, of course, the uh, first time. Duncan goes to the outside, doesn't want to follow the two riders ahead of her. Yeah, Shana Van der Fles took a good start too. She's fifth right now, very good from the uh, Young Dutch. And also the German Anne Boy is right behind her on the Suzuki. Uh, really good start for her, so. Just there at the bottom of the screen, but uh, here is uh, Courtney Duncan alongside uh, Elisa Galvano. So the 121. So Duncan going uh, from uh, fourth to third to second pretty quickly, and then, or third to second, final way past Nancy Van der Ven quite quickly. Van der Ven just getting caught behind the, the 121, the Italian on the Ceres 71 race in Yamaha, and, Val and Lynn Volk looking for a way through on Van der Ven as well. So the two Dutch girls going at it here, but uh, Volk just jumps across the Italian and into second position. She's got one thing on her mind, and that is the Kawasaki at the bottom of the hill, Janina. Yeah, like I expected, she will make the pass really quick and lead the race. I wonder where Papemeyer is. Didn't see her in the top five yet. Papemeyer at the moment, uh, just looking down the leaderboard, 4.23. She's uh, ninth, 10th uh, place, ninth, 10th place at the moment, first split. So not a good jump for the 4.23 uh, Yamaha. But uh, Volk has found a way past the fast starting Elisa Galvano as well. So uh, just behind them, uh, Shana van der Vliss looked just on the face of the jump then. Sarah Anderson. And then the 274 of MND Verstappen. So, obviously, we're on the first lap here. 20 minutes plus two laps, the, uh, the race duration. Did you see the crash from uh, Nancy van der Ven this morning through here? She uh, just got a little bit out of shape and ended up uh, oh, just no. past the marshals there on the right hand side. Oh, no, I didn't see it. Bent the handlebars on the left hand side, couldn't continue the free practice. There was probably 10 minutes to go. Oh, crazy. So, uh, already her weekend not getting off to the best start. But but the circuit conditions here, I know, Yanina, you say that this track is one of the easiest for you in terms of uh, maybe the jumps aren't so big and, uh, and that kind of thing. But the fitness levels on another uh, side, you know, the, the downhills, the braking bumps, the accelerating coming up the hills, you're having to hold yourself and push against the bars all the time, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Um, you see um, the track already is really bumpy. From TV, it doesn't look that bad. But if you ride yourself, you really feel all the braking bumps in, in the corners. and big down and uphill so yeah van der Bliss looking to go up the inside of galvano takes the pass on the way up so uh good move for the little dutch girl there here's uh lynn volk on the jk race in yamaha she's got a really surprising good season she's only 16 which is really good uh, yeah yeah and she was Speed on 125 last year and riding 250 for the first oh. time this year but uh the staff and just charges down the inside of shana van der Blist. anderson goes past galvano as well and now Pop Meyer comes into the game, yeah. There she is in the uh, the blue and uh, fluorescent colors, just going past the girl in white. Oh. So Pop Meyer, we've got uh, wave yellows and medic flags down at the bottom of the hill, off the tabletop. So uh, not sure exactly where that is, oh, it's just around the corner there. Is it 555, how many dial maybe, or uh, 625? I'm not sure, but uh, couldn't quite see the number on the bike there, but uh, had a five on it. Yeah, there are really big braking bumps after the jump, and you need to react really quick. And and the race is really you're hectic and make mistakes, and a crash happens really easily on this fast track. So Papamaya up the inside of uh, so Celine Abel is the girl that's down, I believe, at the moment, and uh, also Matilde Stilo. So two riders down in that little uh, incident, we're told. But uh, there is. Uh, but Amandine Verstappen just going past one of the back markers there. So uh, Verstappen now up into fourth place because she's found a way past a whole bunch of traffic here on this second lap. Now, uh, Courtney Duncan was fastest last time around, a 158.5. That was the fastest lap of the race. 2.02 for Van der Ven, 2.03 for Volk, and a 2.01 this time around for Duncan. There's Anderson, there's Papamaya, and then Verlist. So 4.4 seconds now, the gap between first and second. Duncan and Van der Ven. 201 and a 202 for the leaders, respectively. But Verstappen, 274, she was victorious at the first round in Valkenswaard. Uh, the rider in fourth position in the championship, two second place finishes, but 10th and 9th in Portugal. Uh, really was a difficult weekend for her. I think she had a lot of crashes that weekend, didn't she? Yeah, she passed me last lap uh, in the first moto, and I couldn't do anything about it. But 
yeah, in fight in Svart she was really fast and surprising everyone I think. Yeah. So taking a red plate was really good. Yeah, yeah. And I think obviously she you know the work that she'd been doing with uh, uh, her trainer and her coach, uh, you know, has obviously been paying off in the in the winter. And you see they're already busy with lapping, so the field is really uh, yeah, so many different riders on the on different levels, so yeah. Well, here's Van der Ven. She's in second place. Uh, her first sector split one tenth slower than uh, than Duncan, and one second uh, slow, 1.2 seconds in the second sector. So uh, obviously uh, not great. Right, the two girls that fell earlier were uh, Mathilde Stilo and Celine Abel. I believe Stilo is back on track. So uh, not sure exactly what happened there, but uh, here's um, the start. Some riders oh, yeah. are coming together in the middle. Just going off to the right-hand side, always happens here. So uh, half a dozen riders going down in that particular uh, first turn smash. And right. the girls always have short legs and then <laughs> you tip over really quick. I know the problem, so yeah. Well, this girl here, she particularly has short legs, Courtney Duncan, but uh, you wouldn't know it. Courtney Duncan, 4.4 seconds clear at the end of lap two. This is uh, lap three. And the uh, fastest lap of the race, a 158.4 that time around. Extends her lead over Van der Ven, does she? Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, 7.4 seconds now because it was 201.2 for the Yamaha rider. Lynn Volk over the line now, but Verstappen all over the back of her. So uh, Lynn Volk, who last year she wanted to make top tens and she managed to do that. This year she's uh, found herself, uh, what, fourth and fifth last time out in Portugal. Got a fifth overall, a career best. And here she is in a similar position, third, of, uh, third in the race at the moment. And uh, for someone who lives in the sand, it's not bad. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that, yeah. But Verstappen didn't make the best start. Where is Papamai? She's stuck behind Sarah Anderson at the moment. So just a couple seconds behind these two. Here's Anderson. Here's Papenmeyer. And uh, a mistake there from Anderson. She missed the turn. Papenmeyer was able to turn a lot tighter, and she's gained a couple of bite lengths. How well do you know, Larissa? Do you live in the same part of the world, or...? Uh... No, she lives quite far from me, but I, when I grew up, she was like my idol, and I was looking up to her, and now I'm racing against her, which is really cool, so I still follow her and look what she's doing, and yeah. Were you there when she won at Toishintal on the Suzuki? Um, yeah. In 2009, I think it was, or 10? Yeah, I was always following every race, I guess, since yeah. I... Little. Verstappen has found her way past Lynn Volk on Monster Energy Mountain. She goes to the inside, Volk goes to the outside, and Anderson's still right there behind them. Yeah, There's they're Papenheim. closing in. Yeah, they are. A four-way battle here for third place. And uh, Van der Ven has uh, six seconds clearance on these four, so uh, she's playing the safety game as well. Doesn't want to get involved in this one because this one can go anyway, couldn't it? Yes. So Verstappen now second. The 172 of Lynn Volk on the JK Racing Yamaha is third. Then Sarah Anderson there on the KTM is fourth. And then Larissa Papenmeyer just behind her at the end of that plateau. Is she going to go to the inside? No, she goes to the outside. But squares off the corner. Maybe it's a little bit smoother on the uphill. Gets good drive, doubles up. I think there's a pass at the top of the hill. No, not quite. Yeah, you see, like, um, if you come too short on that downhill jump, you can get sideways, which happened to me once, and I uh, knocked out myself in the last lap. Um, there are some edges coming on the jumps now where you need to be really careful. So, yeah, let's hope for no crashes from the girls. Well, behind these girls, uh, Shana van der Vlist, about eight seconds behind. She's in seventh position and uh, just lost the, the toe with these girls. But uh, good move up the inside there for Anderson, but not able to find a way past uh, Lynn Volk. Oh, Ooh. and uh, Volk just uh, slams into that wave. Just jumps offline, but somehow manages to stay in fourth position. Well, she wants this one. Yes, she looks really stressed. So let's see if Anderson can make the pass in the next few corners. Just looking a little bit on edge is uh, Lynn Volk at the moment. Just needs to settle her nerves down and uh, just refocus. Anderson thought about making the pass there, but uh, good line through the turn. And uh, this time she does. But those ruts get very deep, they get very choppy. There was no way through there for Papenmeyer. So Papenmeyer, the, uh, the, the girl off the back of that shot in that quartet, she is still there in sixth position, searching for a way 
to find a way past the 172 of Lynn Volk. Anderson is through. So Anderson now going after Verstappen. Yeah, she made the pass now. So Sarah Anderson, her season so far this year, not what she wanted. Ninth place overall at the moment. Six and a DNF in Holland, where she had a big crash in the second race. Uh, fifth and fourth in Portugal. Uh, got her fourth overall. Yet to make a podium, though, in WMX so far. That's the uh, 325. But Papamaya, she might want to have a word about that as well, because she's starting to close in now on Anderson. Lynn Volk has just been uh, passed by two riders in the last uh, lap here. And she's just lost ground as well, massively. Two seconds that time around, but four in terms of the lap time. Gets very slippery on the exit of that corner. You can see now the corner starting to shine up, polish up, as the girls get on the gas for uh, asking the tyre just to dig in and give them a little bit of traction. But Papamaya just taking a wide line into that corner and down the middle. Corner not so choppy here at the moment. I thought it would be a lot choppier than, uh, it, than it is at the moment. Uh, Yanina? Yeah, I think um, this year they... Problem for uh, Papamaya. Oh, oh no. She stole the bike. I think that's more... Uh, no, the bike's oh, no. gone. Oh. It's not bump starting. That is terminal. And, uh, oh, no, she does finally get it back into life. So uh, massive problem there for Larissa Papamaya. She lost drive momentarily, but then at the same time, she uh, tried to uh, bump start it. It looked like it was going, but not wanting to go anywhere. But eventually it burst back into life. So she lost a position back to uh, Lynn Volk. Volk now back up in the fifth. Papamaya down to sixth. This battle here is still for third. The, uh, the fluorescent numbers are 274 of Amandine Verstappen. She's in third position. Sara Anderson of Denmark closing in, though, and looking for a way through into third place. Here's Volk and uh, Papamaya. Yeah, the track is, is always um, getting watered before the races, and it takes a few laps until the track gets dry again. And yeah, now we see the pass from Papamaya. She showed already that she was a little bit quicker than Lynn, but still really good job from the young Dutch girl. Here is, uh, well, there was Nancy van der Ven. Here's Lynn Volk. So Volk just getting passed by Papamaya just a moment ago. So Duncan now leads, eight and a, 18 and a half seconds clear. She's still lapping in the 58s. Uh, the only one closer to that is Sara Anderson with a two minute, 0.594. Van der Ven, 202.2. Verstappen, 201.2. So Anderson, the second fastest rider on track at the moment. Yeah, you see that the lap times are dropping from a few girls, so you see it's drying up and the track gets a bit quicker again, so we see some good racing for the next six and a half minutes. Well, Duncan leads, Van der Ven second, Verstappen third, Sarah Anderson four, Papamai five, Lynn Volk here is sixth, Van der Blist seven, Lena Dam eight, and Borsch is nine, and uh, Matthias Salebo is ten. Elisa Galvano, who uh, grabbed the whole shot, she's in 11th place, Frankie Nachera up to 12th, Britt van der Werf is now 13. Alicia Rietz, I guess that's how it is, Rietz, Rietz. Her name is Alicia Reitz. Reitz. She's so. also German, yeah. Uh, she's 14. Uh, Nikki van Wardragen is 15. Brenda Wagman, 16. Christina Witkova, then Stephanie Stosteig, Gabriela Sedados, and Sandra Carlson. They are your top 20. And uh, oh, Verstappen no, is down. So Verstappen out of uh, third place. Picks herself up, but uh, she's going to have mud on her gloves, on her handlebars. That's on the, uh, is that on the step up in over on the far side of the circuit? Just watch this. Yeah, she's already gone up into the bank and uh, made a major mistake. Yeah, she probably tried to jump the uphill double and then, yeah, crashed. Yeah, here you can see Sandra Keller and the Kawasaki, the young Swiss girl. I think she crashed in the beginning of the race and now trying to get back from position 31 to, yeah. Yeah, not position. easy when you go down on the first corner, is it? Yeah, you, you always, uh, always leave yourself a lot of work to do. Yes, that's true. Crashing in the beginning of the race is not the best. No, no. So she heads up hill, does uh, Sandra Keller. And then just uh, a little bit further back here. The Japanese girl. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, Yuri Hatao. Yes. In, uh, in red, I think. And uh, who's that down? Number 10. Vitkova. So uh, Vitkova is down. Same place, I think. Same place as... Uh, so I wonder if they're just coming up short. Um, just seems strange that the, the way they're crashing there at the moment. But I wonder if it's just... Uh, you know, obviously you try to go and, and jump the step up, but uh, if you jump short, maybe case out and over the handlebars or... I don't know. Yeah. If you crash, uh, then it's probably because it's too muddy when you land and try to step up. You just lose the front wheel and go down. So I think it's a faster way not to jump the double and make a safe race. Yeah, yeah just uh, sometimes it's better to go slow and, uh, you know, go slow to go fast, you know? That's true. But uh, here's Nancy van der Ven. She's in second position. Anderson is now third. So, uh, Sarah Anderson now up into a top three position. And then Larissa Papamaya, she's in fourth position, but uh, obviously she made that mistake. Here's Duncan. And uh, Duncan did have a four-point advantage over Van der Ven. That'll go to seven points as we head into race two tomorrow, if she stays where she is. But just looking nice and fluid, nice and relaxed. A slight mo moment there as well for Lynn Volk. Just ran too deep into the, the muddy stuff. I don't think she went down. I think she just uh, stalled a little bit there. But uh, Duncan using all of the racetrack. Nice style. She looks really safe out there and confident. So it's good to see her doing good in a Kawasaki. Yeah, because uh, nobody expected that. Um, obviously, I think the deal came together really, really late. She'd been a Yamaha rider for, for many, many years. And when you get used to seeing somebody in blue, uh, and then they say, oh, we're going to go green. It feels weird to see someone back on another color. Yes. But she is now 22 seconds clear of Van der Ven here in blue. Anderson, about nine seconds further back. And then uh, Papenmeyer, Van der Bliss. Uh, Lena Dam is up to six. Lynn Volk now down to seven. So uh, maybe uh, Volk did fall in that turn, as we saw her just getting ready as... Uh, pulling herself out of the mud there. Uh, Borch is eight, Van, uh, Amandine Verstappen is nine, and then Matteo Salebo is in 10. Van War dragging out to 11 ahead of Rick Van der Werf. Uh, Van der Ven, I wonder if uh, she was a little bit detuned after her crash this morning. I know she bent the handlebars and she came in. I was stood up on the, uh, it looks like uh, Duncan might have just uh, been down, maybe on the sighting lap, because she's definitely got mud on the side of her pants. Just wonder if she fell on the sighting lap, actually. That happens to the best, as we Some know. <laughs> Jeffrey. Yes. <laughs> but the uh, bike at DRT, Kawasaki, rider up on the pegs through that turn two. See the back end working over time as uh, it struggles for traction. And that was smart riding there, actually, because she, we saw early on in the race, she was doubling into that corner right at the start. But she didn't get good drive there, so she went, you know what, I'm not going to risk it. I'll just sit back, just go single, single. And, uh, you know, when you've got a little bit of time like she has in hand, you can afford to not take those unnecessary risks. Yes, she, she has to take no risks. So this time, this year, maybe she, she will, yeah, grab the title if she's not doing any more mistakes. The speed is good, so... The next round, of course, in, uh, what, three weeks' time. So we have uh, Lommel for MX2, MXGP, and uh, we've got European action on there. Then we have a free weekend. Then uh, Imola in Italy. Yes. Then we all go back to Sweden for uh, more MX2, MXGP. And then I think there's a free weekend. And then the final round in Turkey. So um, we are at the business end of the championship now, where the title can be won or lost for anybody. But here's Van der Ven. I don't think she's looked at a pit board all, all race. She's just in second position. And uh, I don't know, wondering how the gap became 27 seconds, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, she had a really good lap time in the beginning of the race. So that's really important. And you can live from it the whole rest of the race. Well, I also see that Anne Bosch has just passed Lynn Feig. Um, maybe she crashed. Yeah, that's She fell back quite quick. Yeah, she crashed. Also, oh, for Stappen is also yeah, so passing Stappen. Falk, so Amandine. Well, here's Anderson, bottom of the hill. She's got a nice style as well, tall, elegant uh, on the bike. But uh, just getting caught behind back markers here. But she is in third position. She's got about four seconds over Papamaya. 
That marker just getting out of the way there. I think that was uh, Camille Vio. That's some important points for the championship. For um, Anderson? Yes. Yeah, she needs them. She's uh, ninth in the points at the moment. What was she? Uh, five points behind Van Wardragen and uh, Lena Dam. So she's going to leapfrog a couple of people there. Maybe Shana van der Blist as well. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Sarah Anderson now up into seventh in the championship. So not quite closing in on, uh, on uh, Van der Blist. So two to go. Duncan has completed 10 laps at uh, 2 minute point nine this time around. But uh, she had more than 20 seconds over the 85 Yamaha here of Nancy van der Ven, who's now coming up behind traffic. 30.3 seconds now. So it's been a uh, very confident display from the New Zealander on that bike at DRT Kawasaki. Haven't seen too much of her in the race. We had uh, great battles with Anderson, Papamaya, Van der Vlis, and Lynn Volk for a while. And here's Nancy passing Lynn Bergman. She, she rode with KTM for a lot of years, and now yesterday I saw her posting a photo of her new Yamaha, so changing the bike mid-season, mm. crazy. And she's in 24th place at the moment. Uh, is uh, Lynn Bergman's? Right, here's your buddy, Larissa Elpap. <laughs> yeah, former Suzuki buddy, now she's on Yamaha. Yeah, she, you know, I mean, she's still in the championship chase. She's third in the championship at the moment. She's going to lose uh, some points to uh, Nancy. She'll be seven points behind. So uh, Courtney will be a 114, Van der Ven 107, Papamaya will be on 100, and Van uh, Amandine Verstappen will be on 80. That's how the first ball will look. Sarah Anderson, who we just saw there, coming towards us now, the second rider in shot. She'll move up to uh, seventh position. So she'll move past Lena Dam and Nikki Van Wardragen. And she hits traffic ahead of her. One lap board goes out then to Courtney Duncan. 151, the championship leader. Just behind uh, 116, Frankie Nachera. Good to see uh, Nachera just out on the track. Obviously had a tough time uh, the last 18 months or so uh, with uh, some health issues and stuff, but uh, just out there having fun, riding the bike, doing what she loves. So the Ceres 71 racing uh, rider on a Yamaha. Again, another rider used to seeing her on Suzuki all her life and then uh, switches it to blue. Yeah, that, that's unfortunately happening the last few years now. Um, but what about you, uh, Yanina? Lehman, uh, you obviously ride Suzuki. Is that you've only ever ridden Suzuki's or? No, um, when I started with 85 and I always rode Suzuki, but then after a while I realized I need electric style. Hopped on the KTM for, I think from 2012 to 2016. And then, yeah, I got a good offer from Suzuki Germany and I said, yeah, okay, go back to Suzuki, but I missed the electric start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's Nancy van der Ven, 33 seconds down on Courtney Duncan. Picking up uh, safe points then for uh, second, 22. The gap will only be seven points going into race two. Tomorrow, of course, but uh, Duncan didn't make the whole shot, but uh, she went from third to first pretty quickly. And from there, she's never looked back. She put in a series of fastest lap after fastest laps. And uh, here she is. About to take her third race, uh, fourth race win of the season. She won the first race in uh, Malkenswald, the Netherlands. Uh, she did the double in Portugal seven weeks later. And here she is dropping downhill for the final time here. Courtney Duncan, bike it, DRT Kawasaki, wins WMX race one here at Lockett in the Czech Republic. And uh, a slight celebration there as she comes over the line. That's going to be another three-point advantage for her over Nancy van der Ven. Here is van der Ven in the first turn. So that gives you some idea as to uh, what 30 or so seconds looks like yeah, between first gap. and second. Big gap. And Anderson closing in on uh, Van der Ven. Another lap or so. Who knows? Maybe the Dane would have found a way past the Dutch girl. 
But uh, Van der Ven doesn't look like her normal self, actually. I wonder whether she's carrying a slight injury or something like that, maybe from the crash this morning or before that nobody knew about. But uh, here is Van der Ven. She hits the line now in second. And uh, Anderson just behind her in third. Here's Larissa Pappenmeyer. She made that mistake. She didn't make a good start either. And uh, fourth is the best she can do, but uh, she's still in the hunt for uh, a podium anyway for tomorrow. She'll be hoping that at the very least. And uh, Shana van der Vlist, uh, we wait for her to come through, but uh, she was uh, about 12 seconds down, so she'll be any moment now on her KTM, the 188. But uh, no sign of her at the moment. Where is it? Where is she? In fact, she was 12 seconds be, uh, ahead of uh, Lena Dam at the start of the lap. So, uh, Van der Blist over the line now. There is Lena Dam, the 131, just dropping downhill. And Anne Borsch is right behind her over to Suzuki. So, uh, Lena Dam over the line in sixth. Borsch has come through in seventh. Here she is. Uh, eighth for Verstappen. Tough race for her as well, the former championship leader. And then Lindvold equally. Disappointing for her, she, she'll be disappointed in ninth, and Nikki Van Wardragen will come home in tenth. And uh, we'll do the, uh, over the general classification in a moment, but uh, we'll also see the highlights. But not before we've spoken to our winner from race one, of course, Courtney Duncan. She's on her way down to speak to Lisa Leyland. But she's got to go all the way back down to the, uh, the skybox and the podium area there at the bottom of the hill, look just beyond the finish line. That's the winner's enclosure, if you like. So uh, just we'll get that interview any moment now, I believe. Uh, 36 seconds over the gap between Duncan and Van der Ven. Here she is, the Kiwi girl. Makes her way down there. Here is uh, Lisa Leyland getting ready to talk to Courtney Duncan, bike at DRT Kawasaki. Uh, let's hear what she has to say about her victory in race one. Of course, uh, we'll give her a chance to clean herself up, take a can of juice and... Uh, Put on the, uh, the sponsor's hat. Take your time, course. <laughs> right, here's uh, Lisa Lena. Let's go. Courtney Duncan, you look great, by the way. Uh, you went from third to first pretty quickly to get your fourth race win of the season and some valuable championship points. Tell us about your race. Yeah, I'm going to start off for apologizing how's, how I look right now, but man, it's hot out there and. Uh, Definitely towards the end of the motor, you could start to feel it. Um, but no, the track was, it was tough. Like it was really, really technical. Obviously they put a lot of water down and you really had to be smart. I mean, I even crashed on the sight lap, which was a little bit embarrassing, but at the same time, it made me understand, okay, you know, you can't go quite fast as you want out here. You got to find a comfortable limit and ride within it. And I was able to do that, although I felt super slow, but it was good enough to get the job done and, and bank another 25 points, which is important. And uh, yeah, now it's time to rest up and uh, go for it again tomorrow. Okay. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Courtney Duncan then wins race one here by 36 seconds over Nancy van der Ven, her closest rival in the championship at the moment. And in doing so, she extends her lead uh, over her to uh, seven points. It was four at the start of the weekend. But uh, obviously, race two is a completely different thing altogether. We were expecting rain today. I hear that it might even rain tomorrow. So if that's the case, this will be a completely different racetrack. But it will be the same for everybody. The start will still be important. But Courtney Duncan wins race one here in Lockett. Official confirmation coming up then from uh, that first women's race. Uh, Duncan winning the, uh, the race uh, quite convincingly. Nancy van der Ven second, Sarah Anderson third, Larissa Pappenmeyer fourth, Shana van der Vlis, Lena Dam, Anne Borges, and uh, Amandine Verstappen. Then we had Lynn Falk, Nikki van Wardragen, and then uh, Matea Salebo, Britt van der Wehr, Francesca Nacera, uh, Sandra Carlson, Alicia Reitz. Reitzer. Is that right? Yeah, right, sir. Uh, and then behind her, uh, Stephanie Stusteik, friend of Argmans, Justine Chiro, Lisa Gerber, and Gabriella Sedados. Uh, check out the highlights from uh, WMX Race 1, then, shall we? Looked a little bit like this. The gate dropped, and look over on the right-hand side. We had uh, Courtney Duncan and about just off the middle, the blue was uh, Nancy van der Ven. Van der Ven thought she grabbed the whole shot, but it was the 121 of uh, Elisa Galvano. But uh, how many girls went down there in that first turn? Six, seven riders, something like that. But it was uh, Galvano who led, van der Ven second. 
Courtney Duncan was up to third and doubling away through. Volt was fourth. Van der Bliss was in fifth place. But Peppenmeyer got caught around the outside there just at the top of the hill. She was buried in about 10th or 12th position, but it didn't take long for Duncan to find a way through. Took the lead on the opening lap. Linfolk also made a way through as well as uh, she kept Van der Ven in her sights in third place. Then she started to drop back quickly, did the 121, eventually out of the points. For Stappen, though, she was on a charge after a poor start. Found a way past Linvolt, went to the inside, went defensive. But then she was also bringing with her Sarah Anderson and Larissa Papamaya. All of a sudden, Linvolt on the 172 was under threat and started to make mistakes. But a big mistake and a big problem, a stalled engine for Larissa Papamaya meant she lost probably about 10 seconds and she had to do it all again. She found a way past Linvolt. But then Verstappen fell. And that moved everybody up a position. So Van der Ven was uh, into second. That was Van der Volk losing the place to Lena Dam because she stalled and tipped over in that corner. And then Amborchers also found a way through on the final lap or so. Volk eventually came home in ninth. As uh, Borchers came home in seventh position, but it was Courtney Duncan who uh, led every one of the 12 laps and was victorious by 36 seconds over Van der Ven, Anderson, Papamaya, and Van der Bliss were your top five. Well, that was WMX race one. Uh, they'll be back tomorrow morning, of course, for race two. Uh, we will be back in, uh, well, the, uh, in about seven and a half minutes or thereabouts, uh, 4.45, uh, so just, just under 10 minutes. But let's take a look at the best moments from WMX race one. And I'm going to bring in uh, Yanina Lehman again uh, before you disappear. Uh, interesting first race. What did you make of it? I wish I could be on the gate as well, but it's really interesting to see it from the outside too. Uh, like expected, Kearney Duncan took the win. And also, many girls fell because of the water track and yeah, the bumpy track. So, yeah, quite a few surprising good rides from girls I didn't expect. But yeah, overall, a really interesting race. And tomorrow, even if it rains, who's your money on? <laughs> Still currently Duncan. <laughs> OK. Well, uh, WMX Race 1 was uh, a cruise in the end for the uh, championship leader, you'd have to say. But uh, Nancy van der Ven, she'll be looking to uh, bring her A game tomorrow. Larissa Papamai will also be looking to get a good start and, and uh, try and upset the, the normal routine if she can. But uh, Courtney Duncan will enjoy her victory tonight. She'll go back like all the other girls and uh, refuel and come out ready for tomorrow. Right, we will be back uh, at 4.45. We'll see you then for MX2 qualifying. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.